Okay, we're at Dawn Circle. And I wanted to come down here first to kind of give you a feel for as you pull in. I think with a tiny bit of excavation work, this is pretty flat and level here. I don't know how far over the easement is, um, but you can see the trailers right there. And that looks pretty good. Um, utility easement. This is, I mean, it's not super, super steep. It's a little bit of a grade. I'm gonna see, give you an idea. I think just like a tiny bit of, I don't think there's any septic pipes or anything down here. I think this one's on. I'll double check and see what this one's on. The listing agent did message me and say, we can't go into one of the bedrooms. Um, because of the dog, which he'll probably pop his head up right there. Let's see if I can get kind of a video of him. Hi, sweetie. It's a pit bull. Hi, sweetie. I know, but I'm just trying to take a video. Hi, baby. I know. So that's one of the bedrooms. I'm sorry. Poor thing. Okay. And so this is actually fairly flat up here once you get up here. And then the entrance down into the garage. We've got it through here. We have a heated arctic entryway here. Boots off, sorry. Okay. It's got a skylight in it as well. We're just not gonna let the kitty cat out. This has so much character. Looks like we've got some pantry storage here. This is a really big room. like granite tiles. Double wall ovens. Another skylight. Okay, I'm going to let the kitty out. I haven't seen the cat. Nice fenced backyard. Ah, oh, there's the septic I see back there. So that's good that it's not in the front. If you wanted to put in that RV pad. I'm guessing this might be that fourth bedroom option. So no window. Um, no door. You could put a little door on there or a slider. heat. <laughs> okay, let's turn turning on. Let's see what we find in the creepy room down here. Okay, and we're back. Just could not. So here's your boiler. 
This is a boiler hot water heater combo. It looks like it at least. Uh, heated garage. Well pressure tank. It's his garage. Utility sink in the garage. So it's raining really heavily today um, and the weather is pretty socked in. So I don't know if you're going to have peekaboo views back there of the mountains right behind there um, or if we're just a little too close to the mountainside. Let's see. You can kind of see your neighbor a little bit there. And then you can see this neighbor a little bit. These windows need cleaned. See that neighbor? All right, let's see here. My bedroom. size closet. Looks to be about a, a full. It's a good size room. And despite having a cat and a dog, it doesn't smell like cat or dog in here to me. I know, sweet baby. So that's that one bedroom. It says he's friendly, but I'm not going to test that theory since I'm by myself and he is a very big dog. See, that bed looks like they might have had some shelving in there. And then the master. This is a really big room, actually. Get good feel for it. Got a gun safe over here in the corner. Good size closet. Newer window, too. Oh, this is just hard to open, so I'll just hold it open. This is nice. This is that same uh, kind of tiles in the kitchen. Looks like that backyard access is going to be off the kitchen there. I'll go put my shoes on and walk around outside. Okay, here's that uh, right off the kitchen. Oh, it's just pouring rain. All right, so we've got this fenced. Right. 
footing here. Nice good size yard. Let's see if I can do With this kind of being built into the hill, I mean, it looks like it has the newer septic style here. I, uh, I bet you it's not as expensive to heat and cool. Be interested to see what those utilities look like. All right, I'm going to get this uploaded for you and head to the next one.